another skill that the kids really need to learn and that they don't get enough practice of is eye movement. That is for reading on a board one day, it's for reading on a book one day. Instead of even turning their heads, they need to just be able to follow with their eyes. One great activity for that is take a susati stick with a piece of straw on it and either you hold it and watch their eyes. They need to keep their eye on it all the time. You'll see most of them when they're young. They go straight to there. Let them follow it slowly. And if they're old enough, they can do it themselves because this motion is also excellent. If you've got a straw with a bigger, I've just got a bobble there, I've put some press stick on the end, that also works. It's just a practice. If you do this 30 seconds a day, it is awesome practice for them. A much easier activity is, and a very simple one, which even our little bubbers can do, is elastics. Elastics on a bottle, just a plain water bottle, can be any size, can be any texture, smooth, tin, whatever you've got. All that we really want them to do is use those little pincer grips and to be able to remove it. So it's strengthening them, the little fingers, and removing, simply removing the elastics. Um, and then if they are strong enough or old enough, they can put it back on, which is putting it onto their fingers, stretching their little fingers wide and see if you can get it on. That's excellent for strengthening those muscles. You can use different shapes here. I've just got a wooden board and I put the elastics on that so that they're feeling a different texture and they're also needing to hold it with one hand and try and manipulate it with the other hand. If they're old enough, let them put it back on, but remove it all. Um, you can even do some color coordinating if you've got a whole lot of colors, ask them to take all the yellow ones off. But for the little bubbles, it's just removing and putting on using those muscles. We've got, uh, this is a great one, a tennis ball. Cover a tennis ball with a whole lot of elastics and ask them to take it off one by one. So they would need to take the top one, which is also now thinking cognitive skill, um, taking the top one off, using those very small pincer muscles, holding with this one, excellent for fine motor development. You can even put it on an odd shape, like a little baby. I've got it around her neck. It won't be too easy to get it off, so you're going to have to stretch it to get it off. This one, you're going to either have to get it around her arms or think about how else can we do it. Maybe pull it down. You can even ask them to put the little elastic around the baby's hands or even around her little feet. So whatever, it's just that strengthening. And then for the really older kids, you can give them a, a weird shape like this jug. We, um, they would need to either try and get it over the lip of the jug or over the handle of the jug and it's quite tight so they would need to really manipulate it to get it going. Excellent gross motor is to build an obstacle course and then include movements that they don't do every day such as crawling, jumping, balancing, those three things. Crawl, jump, balance. Crawling, crawl uh, under, over, chairs, tables, uh, cushions, toys, whatever, over and under, under a blanket, um, over something. Um, crawl through, crawl through a tunnel, crawl through a hula hoop, crawl through your legs, tight spaces, boxes, crawl through anything is excellent as well. Crawling, jumping. Um, toddlers are still learning how to jump. Some of them cannot get their two little feet off the ground yet. We are encouraging them to learn how to jump um, and it's a great thing to say jump off the pillow. So stand on the pillow and jump off it and then can you jump back onto it um, jumping off jumping on and jumping over is great uh, then we've got um, balancing balancing is very important for spatial uh, for i mean for um, vestibular and for spatial uh, body awareness and they can balance on anything it doesn't have to be a balancing beam it can be a piece of wool it can be a rope it can be a plank on the ground it can be the lines on the tile or on the carpet anything but teaching them how to balance one foot in front of the other um, and then so create an obstacle course with those three things crawl uh, jump and balance and then um, once they've done that you can you can do it over and over again this time we're going to do it going backwards Next time we're going to do it with a beanbag on our head. Next time we're going to do it holding hands, let's do this together, um, or holding a teddy in your hand or whatever. So just make it more interesting every time. And then also in between, encourage them to run fast, run slow, 
uh, fast and slow opposites and also um, walking on their toes, walking on their heels, walking duck toe, walking that way, walking backwards, sideways, forwards. Um, excellent gross motor. Sensory play, it's again the sand, which I love. Sand is a great texture for the kids to play, and many of them don't mind the texture. All I've got here is my tub, and I've got a whole lot of items, shapes, cars, uh, different shapes, spiders, Spider-Man, little kitty, and I've sellotated, sellotaped them down to the bottom, and then I'm going to just pour a whole lot of sand over it so it's completely covering everything. Completely covering everything. And then I'm going to ask them to try and find the item without using their fingers. So I've got tongs that they are able to use or a brush. So this is a difficult um, difficult thing to do. They need to work quite hard to dig with a, with a brush. Uh, there were eight items. Tell them to go and find eight items and see if they can get it out. Obviously, if they really battle with that, let them use their hands, let them dig in there. It's a matter of pulling it all off, finding the items and um, enjoying it. What to play today is giving them sticks, society sticks or any sticks that you have, and encourage them to remove everything out of the water using the sticks. So you will have to put some thing, uh, things in the water that they obviously will be able to manipulate. Um, many of them are, will be able to fish the things out like that, otherwise they can try and get it together and hold it. A cute one is um, pipe cleaners. If you've got a whole lot of little pieces of pipe cleaner, is to create a little fish with it and ask him to fish the fish with a little fit, catch the little fish in the water with these sticks. Um, and you can make this a color coordinator. So it catch all the yellow ones. There we've got a yellow one, got it. Um, here I've even just got a piece of plastic from a bottle. I've got some shapes. Um, that have got holes in that they are able to get. I have got bottle tops which would be a bit more difficult. They would need to use two hands if they can. Um, obviously the age of your child, depending on what it is, some of them will put their hands in and do it, which is also so fine. Um, I've got a pool noodle that I've cut up. I've got elastics that are great. If you've got elastics throw the whole bunch of elastics in i've got paper clips which they need to try and get from the bottom of the um from the tub i've got little insect little spiders which they'll have to use with bilateral eye hand coordination bilateral fine motor excellent even a little rubber ball which i can't pick up good luck if they can do that i just wanted to remind everybody i am selling the powder paint all the different colors yes i do have some available it's 20 rand for a little tub like this you mix two or three teaspoons in the muffin tray and um, it lasts for quite a while if you want to order. Today I chose pink um, and I would like you this week to paint your little one's feet and to create footprints. Um, or even better, let them paint their own little feet because it's crossing that midline, it's crossing horizontal and uh, vertical midline when they have to paint their feet, it's not easy. It's an excellent um, gross motor skill. And it's a lovely little activity to remind them about lockdown one day, what these little piggies look like. Talk about the toes, the soles of their feet, count the feet left, right, etc. But just have fun. And for fun, just go out and build a fort uh, in the lounge or outside on the jungle gyms under the dining room table. Kids love forts and it's a great place to go and hide and seek. Include the whole family, let daddy come and help and be as creative as you can. Make little dark spaces and cuddle and have fun.